morning, 6.45am, day 12, I'm just leaving Coral Bay now, it says it's about 24, it doesn't feel that, nice sun up on the left, big day today up to Port Hedland, can't remember how much, 700 odd, as always, got to be careful this time of morning, dusk and dawn, rue time. Happy days. Back on to Highway 1, got about 160 k's. First fuel stops about 260, so about another 100. It's a long one, we don't do it by choice, just, there's just nothing in between. Escape's now changed. Interesting one today. Um, the fuel situation's not great. The um, latest truck shop is about 300 k's short of Broome, and my the Indian's okay. But the other two bikes, when you're setting up over 110 kilometres an hour, are too fuel, and they don't have the range. So we're going to have to sit below the speed limit, well below it, so they can get there. Anyway, it is what it is. Happy days. We're pulling in to the Shorefire Roadhouse here. Apparently it's a bit of a shithole, but we've got to absolutely brim our tanks with fuel because the next stop's 290 k's, which is fine for me, but the other bikes are going to have to reduce the speed to 100. Did I say surefire? I meant sandfire. I'm looking for premium because it gets the best um, mileage.
on a one day tour out to horizontal waterfalls. Don't know how much you'll be able to hear of this, but it's pretty cool. How full day this island's Cockatoo Island where they've actually been mining iron ore on it. Um, pretty cool. We've got a degustation menu going, beautiful food. Of course, what are we here for? Drinking food and the view as well. Can't wait to get to the horizontal waterfalls, I'll take some more film there. deep out here so because of all that water constantly flowing through we rip out the bottom up here but good on your falls everyone this place is a real special place to the Damangari people so the Damangari people was the tribe that lived out here the Umude people was the clan group amongst that tribe so they had about I think they said about five different tribes or clans in that one tribe the Umude people was the people from this area so on a big tide they do believe that the serpent comes through here. So a female serpent that created all of these gorges for them comes to, that's when it um, symbolizes. So when that king tide's flowing, that's when they say not to flow, go through it here. They say it harms that spirit of them. Why they um, protect this area? Well, every plant and tree out here pretty much had a use for our people. From us. Good morning, it's day 15, this is our big one, our Iron Butt Day, 1000 odd kilometres to Kananara. And wouldn't you just know it, I've let us, well, the uh, Broome Council along a dirt road, bloody thing, anyway, what a way to start the day, all will be good. I've got to say, I'll be freaking happy when today is over. Happy days! Bugger, dirt, again. Into the sun. Dust and shit all over us. Never mind. It's 21 degrees when I left Broome this morning. Now it's dropped to 15. Tad on the cold side, I haven't got a jacket on. Just going through some roadworks, we're halfway between Broome and Willwall. But the termite mounds, the paddocks beside us, just thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Been an interesting morning with the sun in the eyes. Couple of cows on the road, one dog ran across in front of us, one kangaroo. different lands 
shapes has totally changed again. I mean, look at the different colours of that rock faces in front of it and out to the side. Quite beautiful. Creams right down to the deep ochres, down to the deep reds. Australia is a beautiful place, if not sometimes harsh. Day 16, it's sort of a day off for us again. Uh, I'm not sure I should have planned this, but anyway. So we're in the town of Kununurra, another mining town. Uh, we're going to head out to Lake Argyle, a bit of a relaxing day. below us, you can't see it. Nice little windy road around the, the mountain. Stop up here somewhere and take some shots, I guess. And there's Lake Argyle right in front of us. Ah, look out up here, cool. Look at this dipshit st stops in the middle of the fucking road. What a complete fucking dickhead. Going across the damn wall now. You can hire a barbecue boat for the day here. But it was like... So here we are at Lake Argonne. Believe it or not, this was uh, man-made. Um, beautiful spot. I'm not sure you can go swimming in here. I think it's got crocs in it. I was here 40 years ago, but I can't quite remember. But beautiful coming in here. Just beautiful. Rock formations are very, very colourful. just winding down the other side of the dam so we can get some shots of the outflow quite steep good glad we came out here we're all glad we came out it's very very beautiful very picturesque I guess Kununurra needs to have something going for it they're surfing in there and play with all the crocs Rock's worried, he said there's a leak in the dam. <laughs> ah, I've got to put up with such intelligence. So this is the outward side of the dam. A lot of rocks in that wall. Just, the film might do it justice on how big it is. Water flowing out here. 